Hi people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kara Epitoi. I am from Cameroon. I do videos from I do videos I base in Dubai and I do videos here in Dubai. So I talk about lifestyle here in Dubai. I love I talk about my lifestyle. I talk about Dubai, how Dubai is and how how to achieve your goals in Dubai. I, I talk about a lot of things I, I i do vlogs yeah i do vlogs and also i do sit down videos like how i am doing right now with you guys so guys our topic today is going to be with um 10 things to know before coming to dubai yes before coming to dubai you need to know 10 things yes 10 things to you to know before coming to dubai please if you're new to my channel like share and subscribe to my to my youtube channel so anytime i upload a video you'll be the first to see it and watch it thank you very much lovely people and we, i love you so much thank you for your subscription thank you for your liking and thank you for your sharing so let's get into the video guys so our topic today is going is ab about 10 things to know when you're coming to dubai actually i wrote those i wrote the things down because i don't want to forget some things so um our first thing our first stop point is going to be visit between october and april yes coming to dubai between october and april is actually a time where where there is winter like it's actually winter time you get to feel the freshness of dubai you get to feel the the the, the freshness around you when you are in dubai because actually if you come to dubai when it's uh summer time you, there, there is a lot of heat everywhere even at the beach when you go to the beach the water is hot the, the 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 everything around you it's just very hot so uh actually what i would advise you to do to, to to know is you have to know that dubai is very it's a hot place it's a very hot it's, it's how can i put this yeah dubai is a um a desert and you guys know that in a desert you don't actually have uh, um, like uh, maybe winter time or whatever they call yeah so you don't always have that but here in Dubai of course I know it's a desert yeah but you have winter guys you have winter here in Dubai so that is why I'm, 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 I'm actually telling you letting you know that if you're coming here you have to know that between October and April is winter time where you can get to receive the freshness of Dubai and enjoy your stay before going back home. So guys, our third, our second point is going to be look at the six months ahead before you book any flight. When you're about to take your flight, because actually when you when you book a flight before uh, ahead of time, you get to like uh see the cheapest flights to take to dubai like maybe you can you want you want you are coming to dubai in three months time you you will love to like you will love to check your flight before that three months time yeah you will love to check your flight before that th the three months time so that's why i'm trying to say i'm trying to let you guys know that when you check your flight before the three months that it gets you, you you get to know the one to choose and the one not to choose because actually at times it's very expensive when you pay when, when you pay immediately when you're traveling and at times it's it's very cheap when you pay ahead of time before you before you want to travel you pay like maybe in a month's time or in two months time so that's actually what uh, you should know before traveling to dubai you have to book your flight ahead of time so our third thing i'm going to be talking about to you guys today is book your hotel months in advance yes guys you have to book your hotel before uh, uh bef before you even come here because you don't want to come here and be frustrated you don't want to come here and be like uh and then you book a flight uh, uh, sorry a hotel without knowing whether the how is the hotel you have to check your hotel to know how the hotel is how the hotel functions the the the, the, the everything that, that is going on in the hotel you have to first of all check because if you come here without booking a hotel it's gonna be like in a mess yes because actually booking a hotel yeah because during that time guys there are a lot of uh, 
like people get there are a lot of people that come to Dubai so maybe there'll be like maybe you want to you want something cheaper then you want to go to that thing that is cheaper you get a lot of, you see a mo, like you see more people there you see a lot of people there or maybe you don't see any space there to book because you, you do not book ahead of time so I think booking a hotel before you come here it's very necessary guys so that is our third point for today our fourth point is if you are coming to do sorry if you are coming to do Dubai during Ramadan time yes you have to show respect during Ramadan, Ramadan time if you're coming if you're coming to Dubai you guys know that Dubai is a Muslim country so if you're coming here if you're coming here during Ramadan time you have to know that there are certain things that you need to do firstly you need to look uh, you need to, to to pack your decent dressings your, your sorry your decent dresses you have to pack them down guys because you don't have to you 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 will not see anybody like the, the police people will not want to see you wearing a naked thing on the ramadan day or ramadan time yeah police people will want to see some like if 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 you if you are what if you are in dubai and if you are in dubai you should know all these things that i'm saying by now but if you're out of Dubai, like what I'm saying, I know it's strange to you. Yes, during Ramadan time, you have to dress decent. Because when you don't dress decent and you go out naked, they, when the police see you, they will actually they will arrest you. And they will ask you why, why is that you dress naked during Ramadan? Like you don't have to, you need to respect their, their, their culture. You need to respect their, 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 um, yeah their, their way of fellowship their way of worshiping you worshiping god yeah i think that's that's the word that's the word guys you need to respect their way of worshiping god so during ramadan time you don't don't wear something that when you're coming here pack something that is longer don't 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 pack uh hot pants and you're coming here to dubai during ramadan and you expect to to be that good to, to 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 wear hot pants and stay and stay in the and, and stay uh, uh, like and walk around in dubai it's not good it's not that is not it's not perfect yeah we have to respect the way they worship god their god here so they are muslims and they dress decent so they will want to see us christians so any other um if you're a christian or you are a pagan whatever you will just dress decent in order to respect their culture yes guys so that is the fourth thing for today so yeah the fifth thing is uh dressing modesty guys yes you have to dress modest like i said in my fourth uh in my fourth um point that you have to dress deep decent yeah dressing decent here during ramadan is actually a must like you must you must wear something decent during ramadan you don't want people to be seeing your nakedness why why they are fasting you don't want their men to be tempted with the, with the way you're dressed you don't want their men to be tempted with the way your your your, your bum bum is shaking when you're wearing your when you're passing with your hot pants on the road you don't want that yeah which is very very dangerous because they cannot be fasting and you're wearing your short pants and your fat bum bum and you're walking with you on the road of course they will have to lost after you and when they lost the fasting is no more fasting anymore that is why a lot of them get to stay indoors when they are fasting during ramadan time so that's our fifth point for today dressing modesty when it comes to ramadan time here in dubai okay yeah our sixth point is going to be ask permission before taking pictures yes because a lot of girls who go anywhere like they want to ask you ask permission like what, what, what who does that you have to go ask you have to ask permission before taking pictures you cannot just get to somebody's uh, garden or somebody's restaurant and then you start taking pictures without asking for permission that is very wrong that is very very wrong when you're coming here yeah i know your sense when you're coming here but the thing is you have to ask 
permission when you're taking pictures anywhere around Dubai. If you're a visitor, you're coming to Dubai, you need to ask questions before taking pictures because there are some places that they don't take pictures. They don't allow people to take pictures. Yes. And you have to respect their laws. If you don't want to respect your law, their laws, come on, get out of their country. Yeah, that is how Dubai is. So you have to respect their laws, guys. You have to respect their laws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our seventh point is don't just give your tax, your taxi driver your your address yes do not give your your taxi driver your address if you are if you if, if you are maybe like going somewhere and, it, and you're going to like maybe a taxi drops you somewhere you want to like don't give don't just give any kind of don't just give your your your, your address to any driver because there are a lot of criminals nowadays yeah there are a lot of criminals nowadays so that's that's just it guys don't give your address to any to a driver that you don't know yeah so our eighth point is be careful where you consume alcohol don't just consume alcohol every anywhere like in africa like you can go anywhere like sit anywhere openly and then you you you, you consume your alcohol like the way you want and how how you want it no it's not done it's not done here like that in dubai if you want to consume alcohol you make sure that nobody is seeing you yeah because actually this place is a muslim country and they don't drink alcohol yeah they don't drink alcohol some of them they do, they do drink in secret but they don't drink alcohol here so if you're drinking alcohol make sure that you're drinking in secret because if the police caught you you are dead yes because they're going to take you to court. They're going to take you to prison. Why should you be drinking alcohol in, uh, in an open place? This is this is a, 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 a Muslim country. Yeah, it's not a Christian country that you can drink alcohol anywhere. You want to drink. No, it's not being done like that here in Dubai. So that is what you need to know when you're coming to Dubai. You have to know it. You need to know it to learn it, to practice it. If you have been drinking alcohol outside the... Uh, africa like anyhow you want to drink know that here in dubai is impossible when you're coming here don't drink alcohol outside because if they are if you're caught if you are being caught then you are dead yeah so that's the eighth point guys i think we're going to end on the ninth point because i don't want this video to be too long so we're going to end on the ninth point guys so um our ninth point is stay away from PDA. I hope you guys know what I mean by PDA. Yeah, PDA actually means that public display of affections, guys. That is PDA. Stay away from PDA. Yes. Mhm. Mm public display affection. Do not allow things. Do not allow the things that you did, you were doing in Africa, to 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 actually i don't know turn your mind here to do things crazy no in africa yeah i know in africa you can stand anywhere to kiss a, a, your boyfriend to kiss not even a, your fiance sorry to kiss your husband yeah so but you can't stand anywhere around dubai to kiss your your husband or your fiance no you cannot that is why it is very very bad do not you when you're coming here with your fiance or your husband know that as you come here here is not africa here is not america here is not london here is not uh, canada where you just stand and kiss anywhere you want to kiss no that is why you have to know that when you're coming here stay away from pda yes stay away from pda personal display affection guys stay away from it because if you don't stay away from it it will consume you if the police caught you guys doing or holding yourself on the road it's even a crime it's a crime for a man to be holding a woman on the road yes it's a crime to be, to, for a man to be holding a woman on the road here in dubai so you need to know all these things when you're coming to dubai so that you will be ready yeah so you so you'll be ready when you come to dubai yeah actually I, I think um, 
when you are doing all this if, if if you follow all these rules that i've taught you here in dubai you won't have any problem with yourself you won't have any problem with people around you you won't have problems with uh, with the police people or you won't run away from them when you see them so that's how life is guys so uh that is the ninth thing for today stay away from pda yes do, do, sorry from pda do not do not when you're coming here with your fiance or your or your husband do not hold him on the road do not kiss him on the road go to the house and do that go to the house don't do it on the public yes don't do it in a public sorry do not do it in a public that where everybody is seeing you no don't do it yeah do not do it so that's it for today guys if you have learned from anything that i've said here please subscribe to my channel like and share my video so anytime i upload a video you'll be able to see it like i said if you are coming to dubai please try to watch this video so that you'll be able to learn some things there so when you come here to dubai you'll not be able you, you'll be able to like at least um get to interact with people fluently get to to talk to people fluently to get to without being scared or whatever so that's it for today guys thank you very much guys for your time